Uh, this time we will go over exercise set 15.5. We'll work with the mass, center of mass of lamina. Uh, what is lamina? Lamina is actually a two-dimensional a two-dimensional uh, surface and uh, we can call that flat right if you if you uh, ever heard the word laminating laminate laminate a, a paper right it's a uh, it has the same root word with this lamina here okay now uh, the mass of a surface, so let's call that a D here, two-dimensional surface. Uh, so the area of D is basically the double integral over domain D of DA, right? Now, the mass of that lamina D will be double integral over the same domain, but we insert the density. We're supposed to have learned this in Calc 2, though. In Calc 2, the density is constant. Okay, the density rho, the rho, the density. In physics, uh, you call that density also. Uh, that's constant. Now, in Calc 3, now our density uh, may depend on the position of, uh, of the point on the lamina. Okay? Now, and then there's something called moment with respect to y uh, x-axis. Okay, this is double integral over domain D of y rho dA. While the moment with respect to y-axis is double integral over D over domain D of x rho dA. Now, the center of mass, the x component of the center of mass is the moment with respect to y axis over the mass. The y component of center of mass is the moment with respect to uh, x axis over m. Now, pay attention to the notation thing. What the moment with respect to y axis, you insert x. So if, if you think about it, it's, it's, it's almost like this. It's almost like this. Uh, the mom, the cent, x component of center of mass is basically double integral over domain D of x rho dA divided by double integral over domain D of rho dA. As if when you divide, you get the x bar, <laughs> right? You can think of it that way, okay? Um, now, why we call this moment with respect to y-axis and we put x here is because uh, from the x-axis, if you pick a point, uh, the moment from y-axis is the distance from the y-axis. Now, that distance from y-axis is our x. Anyway, uh, you may want to review your calc to a bit. Okay, right now, I give you the the just to give you the formulas okay these are the formulas so if we go to for example uh, I did number four in my lecture in my lecture so let's do something else let's do number three first then number three we have domain D to be uh, the X is one two three and the Y is one two four And the density is ky squared. So, how to find the mass? Mass of D is equal to double integral of density dA over domain D. Now I plug in the numbers. If you want to skip that step, go ahead. So that will be uh, 1 up to 3 integral, 1 up to 4. The row is ky squared dy dx because 
uh, we can apply full bini and the integrand is independent of x that's just the length of the interval 3 minus 1 right for the x as for the y when i integrate it i get k over 3 y cube from 1 to 4 okay so that's 2k over 3 uh, 4 cube minus 1 cube it's 63 huh so 2k over 3 times 63 is 21 times 2 that's uh, 42k that's the mass Now, how about the moment with respect to y-axis? That's double integral over domain d of x rho dA. Now, you will see the setup will be the same. You just insert x. You just insert x. So, that's double integral from 1 to 3, 1 to 4, x ky squared dy dx which is integral from 1 to 3 of x dx, integral from 1 to 4 of ky squared dy. Now, the thing is, we already computed the integral from 1 to 4 of ky squared dy, right? Okay, this guy here is 2, which means this guy here is 21k. Is it right? Maybe I use different color. This guy here is 21k. Right? See how useful it is to, to show the work? So that I don't need to do it anymore here. So this will be 1 half x squared from 1 to 3 times 21k. Okay, 9 minus 1, that's 8 divided by 2, 4, that's 4 times 21k, that's 84k. And therefore, x bar equals to the moment with respect to y-axis over the mass that is equals to 84k over 42k, that's equals to 2. On the other hand, the moment with respect to x-axis, I insert the y as double integral over d of y rho dA that's integral 1 up to 3, 1 to 4 of y, k, y squared, dy, dx. Uh, again, it's independent of x, so it is just length of interval for x times k integral from uh, y cube, huh? Integral from 1 to 4 of y cube, dy. That is 2k over 4, y to the 4th from 1 to 4. Hmm. What is 4 to the 4? 256. Okay, so k over 2 times 256 minus 1. It's 255k over 2. which implies the y bar, the center of mass, is the moment with respect to x-axis over the mass. That is 255k over 2 divided by 42k. The k we cancel is 255 over 84. I think I can reduce by 3. 85 reduced by 3 that's 28 and I think that's the furthest I can go home huh? I think so I think so so the center of mass x bar y bar 
is equal to 2, 85 over 28. Okay, and then the mass is 42k. That's for number three. Number five, D is triangular region, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 3, and then the row is X plus Y. Okay, let me give myself some space. So number five, the D is the region, a triangular region, 0, 0, what else? Two one zero three. Two one zero three. So the region is this one here. And then the row as a function of x, y is x plus y. Okay. <clears throat> So what's the mass first? Hmm. The mass of lamina D is double integral over domain D of x plus y dA. Hmm. Let's see, what is the equation of this one here? This is y equals to 1 half x. And this guy here is y equals to 3 minus x, I believe, right? Okay, so the mass will be integral from 0 to 2, that's for x, and the y will be from 1 half x to 3 minus x of x plus y dy dx. That's the setup, okay? Now let's integrate that. Let's integral from 0 to 2. Integrate that integrand with respect to y give us xy plus y squared over 2 from x over 2 to 3 minus x dx. Now substitute the y. x times 3 minus x plus 3 minus x over 2, x squared over 2, that's the first part, minus the second part is x squared over 2 plus x squared over 8. <sighs> then I need to clean this up. Integral from 0 to 2. Hmm. I don't really want to do FOIL. I guess I need to do anyway. So 3x minus x squared plus 9 over 2 minus 3x plus x squared over 2 minus x squared over 2 minus x squared over 8 dx. Combining like terms before I compute further, these two guys cancels. So I get negative 9x squared over 2. Oh, this guy cancels also. Nice. The x cancels, the x squared, most of them cancels, and I have that plus 9 over 2 dx. Integrating this will give me negative 3x cubed over 2 plus 9 over 2 from 0 to 2. I hope I don't make miscomputations.
now plug in numbers I bet I should have x here so this will be negative 3 halves times 8 plus 9 over 2 times 2 that's negative 12 plus 9 that's negative 3 no something not right no something not right why the mass should not be negative and in the first quadrant in the first quadrant the uh, xy is positive right so the densities are pos all positive okay uh, so something not right with this something not right okay let me check my work again uh, i need to work hard now <clears throat> hmm. integrate this put the 3 minus x, 3 minus x squared minus this guy here. I plug in x over 2. That's what it looks like when I plug in x over x over 2. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then 3x minus x squared. 9 over 2 minus 3x plus x squared over 2. Let's, so far I'm okay now let's deal with x squared this guy with this guy with this guy with this guy x cancels this guy cancels I have that why is it negative though something not right but it's supposed to be positive I know it is supposed to be positive it is supposed to be positive so I must have made something wrong somewhere up to here this is the setup this is okay this is okay and then I plug in numbers I'm sorry I hold you here I honestly don't see the issue yet. Ah, now I see. It's here. Should be should be negative nine x squared over eight. Yeah, so it should be like that, and this is over eight. This is over eight. So this is negative three. So the sum is positive six. Oh, work so hard, huh? Yeah. So I combine like terms and I forget. Uh, yeah. When I combine these like terms here, this guy and this guy, this this two are can canceling. Uh, this guy, the denominator should be eight. Anyway, okay, fine. Ah, oh. oh. Okay, that's the mess. Good thing the, the mess is not ugly. Uh, then how about the moment with respect to y-axis? That's double integral over d of x rho dA. That's integral from 0 to 2, integral from x over 2 to 3 minus x. 
x times x plus y dx I'm mean, sorry dy dx the graph from 0 to 2 uh, x squared y plus xy squared over 2 from x over 2 to 3 minus x dx now we need to do algebra again <clears throat> the first part is x squared times 3 minus x plus x times 3 minus x squared over 2 minus that's x cubed over 2 plus x cubed over 8 dx that's 3x squared minus x cubed plus 9x over 2 minus 3x squared plus x cubed over 2 minus x cubed over 2 minus x cubed over 8 dx Now combining like terms, I notice that these two guys cancel each other. So I get negative 9x cubed over 8. That's for the x cubed, right? And as for the x squared, uh, wow, they cancels. Okay. And then plus 9x over 2 dx. go on so when I integrate this I get negative uh, 9x to the fourth over 32 plus 9x squared over 4 from 0 to 2 okay at 0 that's 0 so we just compute that 2 that's negative 9 times 16 over 32 plus 9 times 4 over 4 that's negative 9 over 2 plus 9 that's 9 halves no I should not double line that so the x bar is 9 half over 6 that's 9 over 12 that's 3 fourths Furthermore, oh, a lot of uh, algebra, huh? Okay, I think I would just leave it, uh, leave the y bar to you. Okay, but the moment with respect to x axis will be double integral over domain d of y rho dA, and then you plug that in integral from zero to two, integral from x half to three minus x, y, x plus y dy dx then just integrate it from there okay mm, I miss an integral sign dy dx and then you go on from there Okay, and then the y bar equals the moment with respect to x axis over the mass. Now, don't forget the center of mass always need to be expressed in a coordinate form. Okay, that's for number what number five? Oh, just two questions so far is so heavy already, huh? It's it's just tedious. I think it's just tedious and therefore you need to have some patience when you work on them okay let's go on number eight uh, we have d 
is the region bounded by y equals to x squared and y equals to x plus 2. So this is x squared, y equals x squared, y equals to x plus 2. Let's see the intersection first. Uh, intersection, then we have x squared equals to x plus 2, x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 2, x plus 1 equals to 0. So either uh, x equals to 2, x equals to negative 1. So the limits of integration will be from negative 1 up to 2. Okay, now the mass will be double integral over d of kx dA. In this case, integral from negative 1 to 2. Integral from the lower bound is x squared. The upper bound is x plus 2 of kx dy dx. That is integral from negative 1 to 2 of kx x plus 2 minus x squared dx. Right? Because uh, dy, notice the integrand is independent of y. So that will be just the length of interval. Right? Okay, and this is integral from negative 1 to 2 of, I pull the k out, that will be x squared plus 2x minus x cubed dx. That's 1x cubed over 3 plus x squared minus x to the 4th over 4 from negative 1 to 2. For 2, that will be 8 over 3 plus 4 minus 4 minus negative 1 third plus 1 minus 1 fourth. So that's k times 8 over 3 minus, hmm, minus what's that? 12 minus 4 minus 3, 5 over 12. Multiply by 4, 32 minus 5 is 27 k over 12. That's the mass. <clears throat> Am I okay? Let's see. I'm just so afraid to make a miscomputation somewhere in between. And so far I see it's okay. You know, that's for number eight. You know what? Let me do something. Mm, let me grab that thing and then move it here. You know what? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, I need to rearrange this. So, Move it here, make it a bit smaller, maybe. Okay, so that I can continue with the moment with respect to the moment with respect to the y axis. That's double integral over domain d of x density dA. That's double integral from negative 1 to 2 x squared x plus 2. So then uh, that's x times the density x plus y dy dx. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, that's not the density. The density is kx, huh? Sorry, I still remember the last question. kx. So this will become integral negative 1 to 2 of 
kx squared times the length of the interval because the integrand is independent of y. Then I distribute, I pull the k out, uh, x cubed plus 2x squared minus x to the fourth dx as k times x to the fourth over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus x to the fifth over um, 5 from negative 1 to 2. Now I will do the 2 that will be 4 plus 16 over 3 <clears throat> minus 32 over 5 minus when x equals to negative 1 there will be 1 fourth minus 2 third minus 1 fifth. k times you know what i will subtract this way i will subtract this guy with this guy that's 16 minus 115 over 4 plus uh, 18 over 3 uh, minus 31 over 5 okay and then i honestly don't want to go on but i guess i need to do I need to do that. That's a k over 60 times 15 to 125, 60, 160. That's the LCD, right? 60, is it right? And then times 12, 31 times 12. That's minus 12, so k over 60 times 213. I can reduce by 3, 71k over 20. Hmm. Oh, this one I can reduce also. Reduce by 3, that will be 9k over 4. So the x bar will be 71k over 20 big over 9k over 4 the k cancel that's 71 over 45 that's the x bar and the y bar you do likewise moment with respect to x axis over the mass Right, and the moment with respect to x-axis should be done by double integral over domain d of y times the density dA. Uh, you put them in details. Okay, I basically did that earlier. Let me go on. Uh, I am done with number 8. Uh, I'll leave it up to you to do number 10. Mm, let's see number 14. But seems like this number 14, question number 14, is related to number 13. Okay, number 13. The boundary of lamina consists of semicircles. y equals to x the square root of 1 minus x squared. That's the positive part, right? The y is positive. Right? The y is positive with radius 1. Yeah. And y equals to square root of 4 minus x squared. That's a semicircle with radius 2. Together with the portions of x-axis that join them, find the center of mass of lamina. If the density at any point is proportional to its distance from the origin, the distance from origin is x squared plus y squared. Find the center of mass of the, this lamina for number 13. Oh, okay, that's for number 13. For number 14, okay, the density is inversely proportional, means that's k over 
its distance from origin k over square root of x squared plus y squared now uh, okay so how do we compute the mass the mass for number 14 okay for number 14 the mass of that lamina d will be double integral over d times the density dA okay now if we make them into polar this becomes k over r right so this is double integral from the the theta is from 0 to pi the radius will be from 1 to 2 the density k over r r dr d theta which is equal to the r cancels right the r cancel so you get k times integral from 0 to pi integral from 1 to 2 which is basically the the area of that rectangle now okay so that's k pi it's supposed to be k times pi minus 0 times 2 minus 1 right which is uh, just k pi that's the mass as for the moment with respect to the y-axis, that would be double integral over d of x rho dA. If I make it into polar, that's 0 to pi, 1 to 2, r cosine theta, k over r, r dr d theta. Okay, dr cancels right the k goes out in fact we we can apply Fubini's theorem here as we expect as we expect notice that this domain here is symmetric with respect to y axis the domain here is symmetric with respect to y axis and the function both of the boundaries and therefore the domain is also symmetric uh, i mean the the density is also symmetric with respect to the y-axis yeah if you replace the x by negative x you get the same thing okay so the center of max the x bar supposed to be so the x bar supposed to be on the y-axis if you think about it the domain is symmetric with respect to the y-axis okay and the integrand also symmetric with respect to y-axis okay and notice that when you integrate this here however ugly that is this guy will give you zero therefore x bar will be zero as we expect so you can actually argue you can argue uh, from this point here you can argue that uh, the uh, density is symmetric with respect to y-axis and the d is also symmetric with respect to y-axis because of both of those then the x-bar the, the x component of center of mass must be zero must be on the y-axis okay our computation shows that now for the same argument you you will see that the y bar cannot be zero right the y bar cannot be zero the y component of center of mass cannot be zero let's do that computation here the moment with respect to x-axis will be double integral over d of y rho da that's integral from zero to pi integral from 1 to 2 of y which is r sine theta the rho is k over r da the da is r dr d theta this guy give us this this guy give us this and this guy give us this. This is just a straightforward substitution. Okay. And then we get integral 0 to pi, integral 1 to 2. 
the R cancels, we get only one R. We get the K and sine theta dr d theta. <clears throat> That's integral from 0 to pi of sine theta d theta times k times integral from 1 to 2 of r dr. But integral from 0 to pi of sine theta is 2 times k times 1 half 2 squared minus 1 squared 3 halves 3 that's 3k so y bar equals to 3k over k pi which is 3 over pi slightly less than 1 Okay, slightly less than one. So the center of mass is actually slightly outside of that, uh, slightly outside of that uh, half donut. I, sh I think I should say half rings. Okay, that's for number 14. Let me go on. Is that all? Oh, hold on. I thought I planned to do more than that. The center of mass. Oh. Yeah, I think that's where I stopped then. The moment of inertia. Uh, that's the one I want to... Maybe I cover a little bit that then. At least the theory. The inertia... Moment of inertia with respect to x-axis is equal to double integral over y squared density dA over domain D. It, if, if you think about it, it has something to do with this. Suppose we have this is the x-axis here and you have a point here. The moment of inertia has something to do with the distance square from the x-axis. That's the distance from x-axis. You need to square it. Okay, the moment with uh, moment of inertia with respect to the y-axis. If you have y-axis here, then we need to square the distance from that y-axis, which is x being squared. Okay, that's why then the integration becomes double integral over domain d of x squared rho dA. Okay. Now, you will see that the way you set up the d is consistent with the way you set up uh, the integral for mass, for the moments, and so on and so forth. Okay, I think this is where I want to stop for this 15.5. See you later.